85. Hope everyone is really well this morning. Hey, Jimmy. It's so sweet for me when my friends join me for these live recordings. Uh, okay. Lesson number 85. There we go. We're still in the reviews. And today we're reviewing lesson 89. Sorry, lesson 69, lesson 70. Lesson 69, my grievances hide the light of the world in me. My grievances show me what is not here and hide from me what I would see. Recognizing this, what do I want my grievances for? They keep me in darkness and hide the light. Grievances and light cannot go together, but the light and vision must be joined together for me to see. I, to see, I must lay grievances aside. I want to see, and this will be the means by which I succeed. Specific applications for this idea might be made in these forms. Let me not use this as a block to sight. Let the light of the world shine all this away. I have no need for this. I want to see. And then lesson 70 is my salvation comes from me. Today I will recognize where my salvation is. It is in me because its source is there. It has not left its source and it cannot have left my mind. I will not look for it outside myself. It is not found outside and then brought in, but from within me, it will reach beyond and everything I see will but reflect the light that shines in me and in itself. These forms of the ideas are suitable for more specific applications. Let this not tempt me to look away from me for my salvation. I will not let this interfere with my awareness of the source of my salvation. This has no power to remove salvation from me. So again, lesson 69, my grievances hide the light of the world in me. And lesson 70, my salvation comes from me. Here comes Madeline. I have no idea why you on like I do have such power. Presence. Same thing happens when I cross when I uh, channel pieces. It's really cool. Okay, here we go. Greetings, beloved. We are with you today with such good news. The news that you yourself are the answer and the key to your own salvation. By understanding that the grievances that you have of yourself and of the world and of others, seeming others, the reflection of self projected onto another, is all indeed living within the mind of the ego. The mind of the ego that has said, yes, what this person has done is wrong and I will not forgive them. This should not be the way that it is. This should be other than the way that it is. I do not like things the way that they are. The place where you feel that you have no power in any given situation is a grievance that you have held against yourself. The feeling and the belief that you are anything other than divine. The belief that there are circumstances that are indeed beyond your control, beloved ones, are where you have separated yourself from the Godship, from source itself. It is much like being mad at a lamp because it will not turn on. However, the lamp has not been plugged in. It is futile at best, beloveds. Your salvation does indeed lie within you, for you have the means of altering any circumstance by altering the way in which you see, the way in which you think, and the way in which you feel. When certain thoughts of negativity come upon you, beloveds, you can find yourselves overwhelmed, overwhelmed with fear and sadness and grief and loss and terror, abject terror. All that has occurred, beloved ones, is that you have merely forgotten to plug your 
lamp back into source and turn on the light within. By being plugged in, beloved ones, you have once again connected yourselves to the very electricity, if you will, that will light all of the pathways that have appeared dark to you, all of the ways in which you have felt that you are disconnected from another, that you are separate from another, and indeed, beloved ones, that you are separated from yourself. When you come to know and understand that through the proper use of the thinking of your mind, being in alignment with the will of God, the heart of God, you will come to see that you may alter every circumstance within your life, and you will find the most profound ability to reconnect to love, love that you have of self, love that you have of all circumstances. You will indeed be able to look upon things with the eyes of innocence. You will indeed be able to find grace in every situation. And you will indeed, beloveds, be able to forgive in each and every moment as the light of love, the will of love, feelings of love course through your beingness. And as you train your minds through these lessons, these subsequent lessons, including these reviews, and you come to see that any grievance that you have, beloved ones, are ones that you yourself designed and created. You put it in a jar, you put it upon a shelf, you close the door and you said, that will stay there forever. It is now time, beloved ones, to open the doors, to undo these jars, to pull out what you had considered to be a wrong that was done against you, against your throne. And you can cleanse out the cupboards. You can heal your minds, beloveds. But you must begin to look and identify the thoughts that have been there for a very long time for you. The beliefs that you have that everything is guilty and everyone is guilty and you yourself are guilty. <laughs> Imagine opening that jar and finding that it was empty and coming to see beloved ones that all are innocent in the eyes of God. For God has only ever projected love and beauty and divinity and grace. And that is the very countenance of your being, the very essence of your nature, beloved ones. So allow yourself today to be upon a journey of going to these cupboards, opening them, pulling out these old jars of thoughts and finding your salvation. Your salvation is your own responsibility and it is within your means to accomplish. And this must be the greatest news that has ever been presented. For all that you have believed to be outside truly exists within you, which includes the very divine nature of your beingness. So allow yourself to continue with these lessons, beloved ones. Allow them to alter the ways in which you have viewed the world and allow yourself to return home to the truth of you. It is merely an allowing, beloveds. You have kept yourself apart and now it is time for you to rejoin with all of us. For we love you dearly. We are with you always. It is indeed time for you to awaken and as you do, you will come to accept the truth of you, which is that you are light. You are love. Release your grievances, beloveds. The only true grievance has been the separation of your own divinity. But given that that was your doing, it is something that can be undone by you as well. You have our love and our blessings with you always, beloveds. We will speak with you again.
Thank you all so much for being here. And I will see you tomorrow.